the President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress March 3, 1863, has awarded in the name of the Congress the Medal of Honor to Staff Sergeant Joe R. Hooper, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Staff Sergeant Joe R. Hooper, United States Army, distinguished himself on February 21st, 1968, while serving as a squad leader with Company D, 2nd Battalion, 501st Infantry, 101st Airborne Division, near Way, Republic of Vietnam. Company D was assaulting a heavily defended enemy position along a riverbank when it encountered a withering hail of fire from rockets, machine guns, and automatic weapons. Staff Sergeant Hooper rallied several men and stormed across the river, overrunning several bunkers on the opposite shore. Thus inspired, the rest of the company moved to the attack. With utter disregard for his own safety, he moved out under the intense fire again and pulled back the wounded, moving them to safety. During this act, Staff Sergeant Hooper was seriously wounded, but he refused medical aid and single-handedly stormed three enemy bunkers, destroying them with hand grenades and rifle fire, and shot two enemy soldiers who had attacked and wounded the chaplain. At this point, he was attacked by a North Vietnamese officer whom he fatally wounded with his bayonet. Finding his men under heavy fire from, from a house to the front, he proceeded to the building, killing its occupants with rifle fire and grenades. As his squad reached the final line of enemy resistance, it received fire from four bunkers in line on its left flank. Staff Sergeant Hooper gathered several hand grenades and raced down a small trench which ran the length of the bunker line, tossing grenades into each bunker as he passed by, killing all but two of the occupants. He then raced across an open field, still under enemy fire, to rescue a wounded man who was trapped in a trench. Upon reaching the man, he was faced by an armed enemy soldier whom he killed with a pistol. Staff Sergeant Hooper then established a final line and reorganized his men, not accepting treatment of his many wounds until this was accomplished. Staff Sergeant Hooper's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army.